Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we're getting it all in the bright lights of Svetlov. Now this was developed by Vladimir Cholokyan, published by Sometimes You and is available for £8.39 slash $9 redos 99. So this is a walking simulator type game but it's actually based on an emotionally devastating true story about an ordinary family living in a small Soviet Union town in the mid 80s. You'll do sort of small household tasks and other stuff like that but it really begins to kick in towards the end. Well, well to be honest my jaw was just like, bruh, what the cluck? Um, now achievements are very easy again, obviously uh, there is chapter select in the game if needed but there's only three sort of missables to look out for while the rest are story related. Obviously I'm telling you where they are, what to do, where to go and all the things as always. Uh, so all in all then you will be looking at around 40 minutes to complete this one. So with that being said then, let's do it and as always of course we'll press start in terms of controls. Uh, pretty easy you can't run or anything like that you walk very slowly in the game uh, so it is a very slow paced game so hopefully it's uh, easy enough to follow along with uh, the A button um, there's the chapter select stuff by the way we'll get an achievement straight away for beginning uh, but the A button is what we'll be using to interact with stuff or the cross button of course on the old plaguen of stationing uh, and then the left stick to move of course so first thing we'll do is we'll take a little walk forward uh, immediately go to the left and then go to the left again to see the elevator, interact with the elevator button. Ding dong, the witch is dead. And then what you're going to do is uh, press the number 8 button. Number 8. Uh, number 8. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, that if you get what Simpsons quote that's from, then I will give you one pound. I'm sorry for the real life burp there, you probably all think I'm sick. Anyway, interact with the note here in door 66 to the left. And then somehow one of us has forgotten a key and uh, so we'll go to the right, go to door number 67. Uh, the left trigger by the way is to zoom in if needed. Um, and then our happy neighbour is <laughs> super delighted that we just ruined her evening. I don't want to know what Claudia was up to, but uh, anyway, give us the key and get back to whatever it is you were doing. Old ladies all alone. Hmm, let's, uh, let's not think about that. So what you're going to do then is pick up the key and just head through your door, which is to the left, number 66. And that's it. So you will have to um, press the A button again here in order to open the door. Sometimes if you're unlocking stuff, you'll have to press the A button twice. So we'll go to the left. Now, uh, you don't actually have to go into the bathroom just yet, but to the next room is the bedroom. And what we'll do is just interact here with the folder. And obviously there's the second achievement as well. So interact with the folder, turn back around and head out. You'll go to the left, continue on down the hallway, go to the left again. And then immediately left is where the living room is. And then straight in front of us there was the kitchen. You'll obviously get used to this very quickly. Turn around, interact with the cupboard, interact with the papers. Give them a little pick a lily 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 lily. And then we can head out, go to the left, through to the kitchen now. And it's a pigeon. But we're actually going to interact with the matchbox here on the windowsill. Go away, pigeon. Unless you're in my KFC, I don't want to know. Head back into the living room, to the right, go to the end and then on the windowsill again is a couple of cigarettos. Uh, immediately to your right, head out the door, interact with the ashtray to get the bad habit achievement, trophy and just wait until the day is at an end. Lovely little view of apartments we've got here and trees and pipes. Can't forget them pipes. So, as it turns out, the day's not at an end yet. Uh, I've got a couple more things to do. So, with the line directly in front of you, you can pick up the old rag. The old rag me do And there's the Bad Habits Achievement, by the way. So, that should unlock now. So, we can turn around. And we will head out of the living room. Turn to the right. We're going to head down the hallway. And we're going to go straight into the bathroom this time. Long day at work. 
we need one of those big daddy dumps, you know. Uh, so interact with the uh, tap, which is going to be the right, the left hand side one this time, and it'll be the right hand side one next time. And then just interact with the water itself. That'll give you a nice clean little rag that we need to, you know, do stuff with. So turn straight out, go left into the bedroom again. And if you have a look at the floor, somebody has spilled the paint. Probably you, because, well, you know, men are messy, but eh, we all like it. Women love messy men. I read off a, a Facebook article once, because <laughs> everything on Facebook is true, right? So we'll head back into the kitchen. Have a look at the top cupboard, top right hand cupboard, and you need some alcohol. So have a couple of swigs for yourself, whatever it is that you like. Bit of Jack Daniel's honey for me personally. And then once we have interacted with it, we're going to go back to the bedroom, interact with the paint stain again. And well, it's 20 to 12 in the night. I could do with a Jack Jack Daniel's honey and a little, little bit of coke right now. Might as well make this entertaining. Right, so once that's done, we'll head back out again. We're going to go to the left, into the kitchen once again. And uh, we'll interact with the bottom cabinet this time. We're going to pick up the rubbish. Now, this must be a pain in the old butt snatch, where uh, if you're living in flats and apartments and stuff. So we need to go out. We'll head to the left. Then we're going to go right up the stairs, and then we'll interact with the pipe. I mean, that's a pretty small bin as well. So how many trips are you going to do a day of having to go up and down a couple of steps? Was not in my contract. So anyway, once that is done, we'll head back down the stairs. We'll go back inside the house. And, uh, well, it's time to go to sleep. But we haven't seen any beds. That's because everyone takes turns sleeping on the settee, apparently. Um, so, uh, turn directly around, interact with the very bottom cabinet, and then just grab the sheets, put them on a settee, grab the pillow, put them on the settee, interact with the chair, then interact with the bed. Yes, indeedy. Надежду бы надо снять. Петр Кирилович, вопрос к вам и к народным депутатам из Молдавии. Как воспринимаются события, происходящие сейчас в Румынии, у вас в республике? Естественно, что в Молдавии наиболее близко это воспринимает, так как у нас и много общего, и единое у нас, и культура, и традиции, и язык, поэтому... Now, these little Victor Repchuk missions are considerably shorter than the other ones. That's all good, so we'll turn immediately to the right. And continue on. We'll go to the right again. So basically all the apartments in Soviet Union, Mid-80s, were all laid out the same, apparently. Uh, straight through to the bathroom, uh, to the bedroom, sorry, and then just interact with the note. This is going to get us the Curious Soldier achievement. Ba ding There it is. Turn back around. And this time we're going to head to the kitchen. Once here, have a little interaction with the chair, and, uh, well, apparently we need, we need to, well, we need a beer. So, get yourselves into the fridge, one frying pan full of nothing, which is nice, and one beer. That's, uh, uh Mr. Revchak here is on the healthiest King of Champions diet right here. No food and just one beer. Right, so we play as the wifey now. First things first, pick up the plate, turn to the right, put it in the sink. Then we're going to um, grab the fork, pop that in the sink as well. Turn around, 
turn around. Grab the little cup, bro. So, pop that in the sink as well. Apparently, we've got the uh, tablecloth that disappears and reappears all the time. Magic in the 80s, that was. So, go into the living room, and then on the uh, table here is another coffee cup, which you're going to grab. By the way, this is... Um, uh, this is the difference between most men and women. Women clean up and then men just leave stuff to sink, uh, to soak, sorry, which is pretty much me. Uh, I leave it to soak for a couple of days and then do it. Right, so we, once you've picked up the rag, now we interact with the water. That'll get that one going. And if we have a look in the top cupboard, interact with the yellow box, which is the soder. Mm -mm -mm. Who loves orange soda? Not that type of soda. So once that's done, we're going to head out of the kitchen. We're going to go back into the right, and just to the right by the watering can here is... Next to the ironing board, sorry, is the watering can. So, there's going to be one plant in front of us. Ah, beautiful. Uh, turn around, and directly at the opposite end is a, another plant. It's a simple but lovely house, apartment, whatever. Go back into the kitchen, and then on the windowsill once again is the third plant. Beautiful, bountiful. Right, uh, you can interact with that plant if you want, but that just uh, it, it, it just does nothing. So we're going to head out, and we will go to the opposite end, and we're going to go into the bathroom this time. Now, it can be extremely dark in here, but luckily it's just uh, looking left of the bathtub in order to pick up the bucket. So we interact with it there a couple of times, then head directly uh, to the living room. I was going to say left into the bedroom then, sorry, but no, to the living room. Go out to the balcony. It's a wonderful view. And then we're just going to put the clothes down and then uh, with each individual clothing item, put them on the line. Man, imagine if it's windy and all of them get blown away. You would be pierced. So, uh, after a little while, the doorbell will buzz, so that's what we're going to do. So head out of the living room and just interact with the front door. It's a spooky box! My boy's a box, damn it! So interact with the note that is in the box, and then what you're going to do then is just pick the box up and hide it in the bottom kitchen cupboard. That would also get you the strange gift achievement. Because we're hiding it from our husband, which is not dodgy at all. So now we are the male. We are going to turn around. We are then going to head into the kitchen. And simply and lovingly interact with the note. Morning! Or morning, comrade. Uh, then we'll go back into the living room here, interact with the cupboard again, and we will pick up the first key directly in front of us there, the silver key. Turn to the right, we're basically going to be heading out of the door, and then there's a big storage container in front of us. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I mean, if it's your own personal storage unit, it's a lot better, but I assume you've got to share it with other people and... Well, some people stink. So grab the um, light fixture, if you want to call it that, and then head back into your apartment, to the left, into the bedroom, and interact with the space above. For some reason, old dopey ass here uh, forgot to press the A button to open the door, so that's why I was struggling. Hmm. Because apparently I can't get... Oh, I thought I could see ourselves then. But never mind. So into the living room again. We're going to interact with the cupboard once again to grab the three bulbs. Just go back to the bedroom and put all three bulbs in the light. That's... Yeah, that's pretty much how you do that in real life as well. So once you've done your man duties there, uh, turn around and turn on the light to make sure. There it is. There's the light. Awesome. Turn directly around again, and then on the windowsill is a pot of glue, or wallpaper paste, I expect. 
Whatever it is, uh, well, it is wallpaper paste. We're going to put the bucket in, or grab the bucket, go into the bathroom, put the bucket in to the bath, and then with this one, what you need to do is interact with this big tap thing, and then interact with the right-hand side tap in order to get the water squirting. So there you go, turn it off so you don't accidentally flood yourself, pick up the bucket, go back into the bedroom, put the bucket down onto the left, doink, and uh, then we will grab the paintbrush on the right hand side desk, give it a little dip dip, a little dippy egg right there. Americans, do you have um, dippy eggs, as in soldiers, as in you have cut up toast and then you dip it in your, in your soft boiled egg, do you? Or is that just a pure British thing? Anyway, grab the wallpaper off the bed and <laughs> pop it onto the wall. Voila, finito. Grab the nails now on the stepladder. Uh, just wondering, because uh, and the hammer there off the windowsill. And then we are going to press the A button here on the wall. And that's going to get some nails in. Then we can turn directly around, grab the shelf, pop that onto the wall. And then the bottom of it's going to fall down, which we will just pick up, and Anthony here, or whatever his name is, will pop it on. I'm always interested in between things that Americans and British people eat, the words they say and the spelling they used. The arguments will never go away. Right, once that's done then, we can head straight. And we are going to go back into the living room. And then we can just go straight onto the balcony to find... Cha -cha! The, the deadest pigeon, again, anywhere with a chicken place, just fry him up, he's alright, give him a shave, fry him up, job done. Anyway, this will end the day, and uh, when we uh, start back up, the next one will get the bad sign achievement. Now, I know American and British people all eat the same bit of KFC, it's all pigeons, it's all delicious. Oh, 20 past 4, coming back from work, that's not too bad. Right, uh, we're going to do the same thing here then. So obviously, go to the left, go to the elevator, and then press the number 8, number 8, burp, in order to get to your apartmento. So get to it everyone, number 66, straight in, there we go, no fuss, no muss. So we're going to go straight to Nadia's bedroom, that's our, uh, that's what our daughter's called, Nadia. So we're going to interact with the guitar here in order to get the strings of soul achievement, so make sure you've uh, just pressed that at least once, I'm doing a nice song there. Then you can interact with the books there and then interact with the notes, uh, that, that's probably bad I expect. Interact with the bed in order to make it for her. Well, it's not too bad for a 14 year old to be honest That's a good effort that one and she's got like the Batman symbol on it for some reason uh, Interact with the notes just underneath the pillow and then what you're gonna do is go out into the hallway to interact with and pick up the phone Добрый день, Тамара Ивановна С кем говорю? У меня к вам очень деликатный разговор, не телефонный. Уделите мне немного времени. Для начала представьтесь. Вы меня знаете. Это очень важно. Uh, no, mate. We don't know you. That's why we're asking your bloody name. Oh, man. The people not know how to use the phone properly in the 80s. Anyway, going into the living room, interact with the cupboard directly in front of you to pick up the big key in front of you. That's a big schlonky donkey key. Uh, turn to the right and then we are going to head out of our apartment and then we're going to interact with the elevator again And this time we're gonna start going outside. Oh, it's getting spookier now
So once the elevators have dinged, we're going to head to the right, go down the steps, and then get out of the apartment straight in front of us. And we're going to see the bright lights of Svetlov. Arg, it burns! It burns so much! Mr. Burns. Right, we're going to turn to the left and then turn to the right here. And then just continue on straight for just a little bit. So at the end we're going to turn right and we're going to have a little woozy episode right here. And no, we're not drunk, we don't have that Soviet vodka. Um, but yeah, if you kind of if you kind of put in two and two together by now, you'll know exactly what's going on. Um, but if not then that's fine because we'll figure it all out in a bit. Right, straight in front of you then is number 19, that's what we need to go into. So we're going to interact with this bit a couple of times. Once to unlock, once more to open it. And straight in front of us then, we're going to have a look at the note, first of all. So, note it up. And then we can interact with radio just a couple of times uh, in order to pick it up. So, pick. Yeah, a couple of times, there we go, job done. And that's all we need. So, now we're going to head back to the apartment. So, from here, go back through the gates and all the way to the left. Тамара Ивановна, прошу. Я к вам не сяду. Поверьте, это очень важный разговор. Не надо меня донимать. Уезжайте. Хорошо. Тогда на досуге почитайте вот это. I mean, to be fair, if it was such an emergency, you wouldn't be so dodgy about it. Like, you just phone them up and be like, Hi, my name is Soviet Union name. Um, something's going on with your house, man. Oh, right, okay. Uh, it's just a bit, uh, yeah, a bit silly, that one. Anyway, we're back into our apartment now. We're going to have a little read. And our beloved female character here is not going to be happy. She's going to call them Bastards. And this terrible music is going to start playing. So if you want to, you can just immediately uh, have a look at the note. This is where she's going to say the old bleh. No, she's not. And then you can just turn the radio off because that music is terrible. Uh, so, but she did say it. What a bnar stool. Ah, oh, cheers, Uncle Sasha. Boy, you are the king of kings. So, let's head out of the living room, go to the right and to the front door. Well, there it is. There's the box. So, go back into the living room and just place it on the floor next to the desk. Open it up. Put the TV on the desk right there. And that's looking mighty fine. So, interact with the cupboard, interact with the key, and then you've got to go out of the front door back into the storage unit. Hopefully, uh, the pacing's good in the video as well. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast. <laughs> anyway, right at the back here is the signal, the aerial, sorry. So, go back to the TV, pop it on top, and this will get you the let the signal be, will be. 
And then we can watch some TV now. Hooray, you don't have to talk to your family anymore. Hooray! Right, we're going to wait for the phone to ring. And, yep, it's going to be some great news. Анатолий Владимирович? Да. Ваша жена скончалась. Следует приехать в больницу и расписаться в акте заключения врачебной комиссии. Что? Возьмите с собой паспорт. Сегодня сокращенный день. Oh, by great news, I mean devastatingly bad news. Uh, so interact with the door here. This will end the day. Um, yeah, so you just had a TV, but then your wife died. It's a bit of a... <laughs> I mean, what, what did I just say? You don't have to speak to your family anymore. Oof, that got a bit awkward. Because he ain't going to be speaking to his wife no more. Eek. But uh, no, this is where we are going to start really finding out what happened. Genuinely, I thought that was a bit of a joke first. But uh, no, you'll see that it wasn't a joke. And what happens is actually extremely devastating. So we are playing as Victor... Ah, who's the dude? Who's Victor from Call of Duty World at War? That guy was super cool. Right, so we're going to interact with both of the notes anyway. As Victor Raznyat. Or whatever his name was. And here we go. And again, it's gonna, just going to be a short little sort of chapter or whatever you want to call it with this one. In fact, it's so short that that is... Uh, yeah, we're just going to turn to the right. Go out of the door. Hey, turn to the left, of course. And then we're basically going to go to the living room and take a nap again. Right, okay, time to do a bit of more cleaning simulator now. So what we'll do is head to the right, out of here, and into the bathroom. And there's going to be a rag that we're going to grab. Just to the right of us there, next to the hairbrush. It's funny how we look at our own house and go, well, can't be asked." but... Cleaning simulator in games? Oh yes. So first of all, interact with your desk, or Nadia's desk. Go out, and we're going to interact with the phone desk. Or the phone cabinet, whatever you want to call it. That'll clean that one. So now we're going to go into the living room and we're going to clean the TV. This is why I can't wait for my kids to grow up, to be honest, though. Obviously, we'll have lots of fun memories, but I can't wait till somebody else gets to do the cleaning. Uh, go in, clean the, uh, interact with and clean the kitchen table, and then directly around you, just next to the oven there, where the kettle and the tea, pot, uh, tea mugs are, tea cups. That will, um, that'll do it. So we're going to pick up the matches now from the left-hand side. Interact with the stove, interact with the button on the stove, then interact with the actual hobnob itself. And then we can go into the fridge, we're going to get out the pot again, just like Rocknov, he, uh, we still have an empty frying pan. But we've got some tomatoes or something in there cooking. Right, so now we're going to go for a little walk. So, uh, first of all then, we're going to interact with the key just underneath the telephone right there. And then we're going to go to our... Bedroom, bedroom, and we're going to open up the cabinet, grab the flashlight, and now we need to go to the living room inter to interact with the cabinet to grab a battery. Bit of back and forth simulator now. Now we can just leave, and it's mad that uh, everyone in the 80s had to do this. Instead of just stockpiling their food in cupboards, they actually have to go all the way out of here, down to the cellar. I mean, oh man, imagine if you were having lazy days and stuff. I don't want to get the bloody tomatoes, man. Don't make me do it. Valiente. So, with around 10 minutes left to do, we will go down the stairs, straight in front of us, out of the apartment, of course, again. A little ambulance is going to Abamyamam, Abanyanan, Lubulance is going to go past. There he goes. Very high-def ambulance right there. 
But turn immediately to your right again, and we're going to go down to the cellar. And stuff's about to get even weirder. So press the right button there to uh, put your flashlight on. Turn to the left and go straight down. Again, why you keep most of your food and stuff in the creepiest looking cellar in the world? Only the Soviets can tell you. Well, the Soviets from the 1980s, anyway. Oh, что такое? Голова кружится. Больше точно. Wow. And we got the same head woos as Mama. Uh, but interact with the fourth door here, the sort of brightly coloured one. And then straight in front of us, we're going to grab some tomatoes. And that'll get us the homemade is better achievement. We should only have one achievement left. So now we can just head straight to the right and basically back up to the apartment now. That smell, it smells delicious now. Because we are a good cook. Uh, right, so we're just going into the kitchen. We are now going to put the tomatoes in the... Um, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's that. And uh, the dad. <laughs> the dad is coming soon. And all we're going to do as the dad is walk straight in front of us. And the emotion's going to hit. So a couple of easy parts then, all we're going to do is just walk forward into the light. Caroline, don't walk into the light. Не надо было Ингу слушать. As embarrassing as this is, this is this is to admit. I j actually thought uh, we were just trying to be the mother escaping. I thought she got kidnapped or something. But anyway, interact with the uh, cabinet, open up the flashlight, and then walk forward in order to end this section. <laughs> Next up then, all we're going to do is just walk, if we turn to the left and walk straight in front of us, got to go all the way up the stairs to get the hell out of here. Да, вот оно. Все будет хорошо, доченька. Я тут. Now the spooky stuff started happening, and this isn't just from cigarettes, by the way. Uh, so we're gonna go to the kitchen and try and enter it. Enter it. It's not gonna happen. So we're gonna grab these keys. 
It's a swirling vortex of Aurora Borealis, localized entirely within your kitchen again. Door flies off, and then uh, it's pretty much just a linear path. So you're literally going to take a couple of rights and then a left. Just follow the light, basically. And by now, if you haven't put two and two together, well, it'll explain the whole thing, but uh, it's starting to get a little pretty obvious now. Uh, so we're just coming up to what is effectively now the end of the game. Um, we've just got to pick up the old giggity giggity Geiger counter. The old giggity counter. Alright, sexy time up to 100. Uh, so it is, if we go to the right and out, the old giggity count is going to be on the floor. Then we just need to walk to Nadia's bedroom and that will effectively end the game. And then you will see what exactly has happened and how actually devastating it is. Seriously unbelievable. Unbelievable. And nobody was punished for it either, even though six people, including a 14-year-old, died. So, yeah, that was, um, yeah, a bit of a gut punch, really. But there we go then, guys and gals. That is the bright lights of Svetlov done. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed the guide, and that it helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as usual. Big shout out, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Uh, thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Big ol' love!